Oh, I am Jake. Um, this video is talking about um Peter Munch's um the twenty twenty years election. Somewhat controversial <laughs> topic right now. Um, I I born and live in Australia, and of course I cannot vote in the United States of America. <laughs> election of course but um however I am I am a really um interested in politics not really interested in America politics because live in a different country but um but um I am really intrigued with the situation with Donald Trump in the White House. Um, um, back in 26, I am a somewhat of a sentience, social downcarkic um, person. Maybe center left wing, but not so. Um, if I live in America, could <laughs> call me far left wing, but in Australia, I am center left wing. Um, but back in 2016, I understand why Donald Trump won. Um, about the outsourcing of of the energies in the West Belt and and the uh, um if a sucks a decline in the United States of America and and his reckoning of of um bringing the jobs back to to America and Hillary Clinton is is a crop politician, but this election um quite interesting with it because um with the coronavirus happening right now and Donald Trump handling of the coronavirus. My thoughts are that Joe Biden will win over um with a normal election with a leader performing terribly. Um, Joe Biden really easily get over 400 electoral college votes really easily. In Australia, um, our, mainly our state leaders um, decide to look at um, the coronavirus um, restrictions and pretty much of most of all of the state's Cameras, the state governments handing the coronavirus um, outbreak um, extremely well. Um, and I live in, in the ACT, and it's pretty much nearly no cases. And in America, I just going to look. Up the information on online. Um, today, on the fourth of November, the got one. Hundred uh, one hundred and seven thousand eight hundred 
and 72 official cases on the 4th of November um, is disgraceful and with Australia's case um, on the 11 I've got 11 cases, new cases, um, on the 5th of November because one day ahead. Um, but, yeah, and my thoughts of the election is Donald Trump's handing of the coronavirus have a big backlash, um, see it somewhat of it um with um i was in the youtube videos people youtube videos and they're saying and i think the official reports not caught me on it um one of the highest ton apps um since 1900s um um partly um with angry towards donald trump and also um in my thoughts of it um is that um america is deeply divided um and polarized and with the with politics now in america um the um rural areas heavily towards the republican party and more urban areas voting for the Democratic Party and two good boys people watching different news outlets um rural areas watching Fox News or or Bipart or something like that and um more open areas MSNBC or CNA, CNN, still MS, Fox News is a white wing news outlet, but MSNBC is a, my own appearance of it is, um, is a down fucking hack, um, news outlet, um, my own opinions of the battle and America needs to talk to the other side and need to have more critical um critical um reporting critical quicker reading of information and need to look at the sources of the information not just listen to the news and and believing 100% of it um but um somewhat sidetrack um um that is my thoughts on the media situation in America. Australia got SEMA with Sky News and ABC News. Sky News is the white wing outlet and ABC is government one app. Um, um, but yeah, the biggest problem in America right now is the polarization of the politics. Um, um, back to 
um, on the or was it on the day because Australia is one day ahead of the United States of America. Um, was in on the night of was in on the day um, of the election result is um, really interesting. I am if I can vote if I can vote in America um, properly voting for the Democratic Party, but I hoping for a Joe Biden win and properly um, get it. But on the day of the election, <laughs> big complicated, really worrying about um, Donald Trump winning the White House, um, um, winning Wisconsin and Michigan, and don't know the data, it's still Trump leading in Pennsylvania right now, but on the day of the election here, I am extremely concerned with Trump winning the White House, winning the states of Wisconsin and Michigan, um, and um, and I was Donald Trump um, declining on the night he won. I think Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania and feeling quite nervous of it and then I have a sleep and see the next day that Wisconsin is um, Joe Biden leading and then I think a couple of hours later Mixon leading for Joe Biden with the mail in bound papers and I but extremely relieved with the election result. Um, but yeah, on the day of the election, I get yeah really nervous that could see Donald Trump winning the White House. Maybe still with legal accents, but. Uh, thank God I not live in the United States of America. The place is down here and I really wanting to bring Trump supporters or, or anti-socialists or anti-communist people move to Australia and see uh, we got universal health care and Australia not turned into a communist state. What I hoping that. But that is my thoughts on the United States of America and extremely concerned with Donald Trump. Um, question about the situation of counting the bound papers. Um, we had a um, state election in Queensland and Labour, the Labour Party is a centre left wing party in Australia. Um, the Labour Party comfortably win the election and no leader in in the state um, parties um, never questions the genuine questions the the voting of the bond papers at all and I feel really grateful and really nice to live in Australia um, that is my thoughts on the United States of America.
can't beat over the place. I need to gather my ideas first and need a script. <laughs> and I trying to think of um top of of my head that um the information is um factual or not. Um helping sis is not a miss um leading video. Um thank you for watching this video properly more negative comments and and all that but see you the next time um pause every doodle